All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we get to work on the Bronco. Last time, we got everything primered up. We got some body filler done. We blocked everything, it's looking good. Today, we're gonna sand it down one more time to get that nice, sleek body lines, make sure everything's looking really good. So we're gonna re-sand, and then we're gonna re-primer, and then we're gonna start, hopefully, let it sit for a little bit, and then hopefully, we're gonna start getting it ready for paint, and then more sanding. But this time, we're gonna sand with probably 600 instead of the 180 or 220, but Anyways, we got a lot of work ahead of ourselves. Let's get straight to it and knock it out.
All right, so we just came back from the paint store because it's gonna close, so I went there really quick, got some paint, and this was a kind of expensive. So the green I thought would be cheaper. Oh yeah, I got green, so if you guys didn't know. but So we got green color, but this was roughly around $800 for the paint, the clear, the reducer, each of these cups, and then we got sealer. So we're gonna put this on some Slick Sealer Gray, which is gonna be pretty sick. But we did get a lot of paint. Just the paint was almost $400, $500 for just the paint. Got some new Matrix Edge. Heard this stuff's gonna be good. I'm really excited because there was a whole book and after looking at a couple pages, I just picked one, you know. But this has actually gold in it, which I think it's gonna look good with all the contours. We're not gonna know until we paint, so we gotta go ahead and finish sanding. There's still a lot of pieces to sand and then we could put in the paint booth and start putting some paint down. So let's keep working. Alright, so there we are. We got pretty much half of the Bronco. This is gonna be the right side. So we got the right quarter panel rear, the door, the other fender. So it's gonna try to blend it all the way across through. And also we got the tailgate and a couple little pieces. So we're not gonna paint everything at once. This is a solid color, so we're not gonna have to worry too much about matching as long as we repeat the same process. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe everything down, tack cloth it. We're gonna put some bumper adhesion promoter right there for that bare plastic. And then we got sealer. So we're gonna do two coats of sealer on this thing so make sure our base coat is completely the same. And then we're gonna start putting the paint. So we got a lot of work ahead of ourselves. Let's get straight to it.
All right, just like that, we got two coats of sealer on it. We're already mixing up the green paint and it's gonna look great on these coats. So we're gonna let this flash for maybe another five, 10 minutes. And then we're gonna put about, I think four to five coats of that green. Make sure we're gonna have nice, good coverage. I'm really excited. Let's see how these panels turn out. All right, so there we have it. We got about eight coats of this green. And uh, it's really hard to see in the camera, but it's got a lot of gold flake in it, which is really cool. Hopefully once we put the clear on it, it's gonna give it that pop, but I'm really excited. I, picked, I think I picked the right color. It's gonna stand out really good. Not too much, but definitely gonna be custom. So let's go ahead and put two coats of clear on this thing, and we'll be done just like that. All right guys, so just like that, we finished for today. I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow to paint everything else again pretty late, but leave us a comment down below what you guys think of the build so far of this color, because I'm loving it. And we haven't really painted a green, custom green color yet on one of our builds, so I'm pretty excited, but uh, we'll catch you guys next time.